I've got my Dino PC. I've customised it like a pro. I can now record in superior 4K. So let's turn my PC down to HD and see if I can slow it down at this humble, lowly resolution. Because 4K is kind of cheating. I've chosen to start this challenge off with Armour 3, which scales all the way from very easy to... No, you can't run this. It's a little bit different from most games because it isn't really a game. It's deadly serious, as any player you'll meet online will tell you. It's intended as a military simulation, and that means doing everything the hard way. GTA 5 may get away with deleting cars as they go out of sight, or swapping distant trees with cardboard cutouts. But not this game. I mean, I mean, military simulation. Every bullet behaves the way it's intended to, arcing through the air and blowing with the wind. They can pass through rock, wood and ground, fire up into the air with gay abandon, and that bullet will eventually land somewhere. And as much as this island would benefit from some dinosaurs, you won't find any. Because that would just be silly. So just remember this when it comes to the benchmarks. It might not look like it's rendering a lot, but it's probably spending dozens of frames a second accurately modelling the way that the wind interacts with the hairs in your player's nose. Or maybe it's just poorly optimised. Anyway, the new Apex expansion is set on the beautiful island of Tanoa. Tanoa. Tanoa? It's filled with jungles that wouldn't look out of place in Crisis or Battlefront 2. I first tested it on maximum settings with 4x anti-aliasing. It looked great, but ran at just 30 to 40 FPS in the jungles but move over to the cities and at points it would drop to as low as 20, especially when staring at these shipping containers. What's it got inside them? 3D Mark software? So yeah, even the almighty Dino PC isn't impervious to humble old HD gaming at uber extreme settings. Lowering it down to just ultra but with 8x anti-aliasing and it held at least 60 FPS in the jungle, but still as low as 45 when staring at those shipping containers. Crazy. But this is boring, like through Cook's Philip. Let's add a twist to this benchmarking process. Allow me to introduce you to my secret weapon, sheep. Let's start with a single, solitary shop, stood solemnly solo in the centre of the airfield. This still only ran at 70 FPS. Maybe there's a LAN party being simulated somewhere else on the island. Nah, that didn't help. Oh well. Now to up it to our hundred sheep. We've got ourselves a nice little herd going on here. But we see the game is now on the 60 mark, teetering on the fine line between perfectly smooth and literally unplayable. Whoops. Let's up the numbers some more. To 500. It's dropped a further 20 FPS, or a drop of 0 0.05 FPS per sheep. Not bad. And now to a thousand. Here it has only dropped by another 7 FPS to 33. A little over 1 FPS drop per hundred sheep. This game certainly has some interesting scaling going on. But enough of this. On to 2000. And now the frame rate's down to cinematic territory. But something else is going on here. The game's engine seems bugged, creating solid and rather creepy walls of sheep. These things are impervious to bullets and even to grenades. I'm sure this would happen in real life as well. Don't doubt Armour's calculations. It knows what it's doing. I upped it further to 4000, lowering the frame rate to under 15 and creating yet more weird sheep clumps. Now, even those standing alone are impervious to bullets. I don't know why, and I'm not entirely sure how to test the penetrative properties of sheep. I'll leave that to the Welsh. Simulating 6,000 sheep was the turning point for this test. The loading times considerably increased to almost two minutes, and although I was still getting double-digit frame rates, the sheep began superpositioning in and out of the floor, depending on where I looked. I'm going to name this phenomenon Schrodinger's sheep, and I've accepted, for this test, that perhaps we've taken it a little too far. So, Armour 3 has pushed my PC to the breaking point. It stressed my CPU. It cooked my GPU. And lastly, it took 6,000 sheep to run out of... RAM. But the challenges have only just begun. Which other games can bring my PC to its knees at the humble HD resolution? Post your suggestions in the comments section and I'll see if I can do it on my poor, poor, poor Dino PC.